How's what? it going, Oil? It's going real good. Well, I'll tell you what, most the hydrangeas on, uh-huh. are starting to fade. They are. So. Uh, now, we're talking about macrophylla. <laughs> macrophylla. I'm so smart. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are. The, let's see, snowball bush hydrangea, the ones that are blue or the uh-huh. ones that are pink. And what happens is that around this time, they've sent out their first bloom cycle. And, you know, we always have to do this. All right, Julio, can you explain old wood Mm -hmm. versus new wood? Right. Old wood is last year's growth. New wood is this year's growth. Right. And a lot of the flowers that you're seeing right now are on last Last year's year's growth. growth. And if you uh, look at our YouTube page, you can see that in the studio, I have in my hands basically the stages of what happens with blue hydrangeas, and that's because that's what I have. Um, they will start out like this. They will expand to be that larger blue, paler blue flower. Then they will turn to this. You can see some of the edges are, are a little bit burned. But it basically, they turn white. And like when they get to that pale stage, right? It's time to cut them cut back. Them back. Yeah. Cut them back. Make room for new flowers because it will recycle um, new blooms as long as you have a reblooming type. Endless summer and any new hydrangea variety is going to be a repeat bloomer, and that you want to get those faded blooms off the plant to make room for the new blooms, like that. And that uh, again, it. It's kind of becomes unsightly because the edges of the flowers burn a little bit, as you can see with the ones that I'm holding in my hand, if you're looking on YouTube. And that what that's from is a lot of times it's from either watering during the day or it's just we, we had that uh, major, uh, again, right? It, it was heat wave oh to back to back mm-hmm. and that that can hurt that. Um, one thing about watering hydrangeas, don't do it in full sun. And if you're going to do it, water the soil, not the top. Because every time you water a hydrangea or even Japanese maples, same recommendation for them, when a water droplet hits the leaf or hits the flower, it becomes this little magnifying glass that can burn or it can damage, as you can see, the flower. So try to make sure, and if you know if it's raining, it's cloudy, right? Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. In full sun, we rarely get uh, sun showers, and they certainly don't last very long. Uh, but if you're watering yourself or you're doing it, make sure you do it preferably early in the morning. Yeah. That's a that's the best time. I do. Yeah. But you're going to clip these off, and you're going to go down to the to the bud just below the flower. So if you go. It's going to be about three inches down. Um, you don't want to just deadhead it. And like so, for instance, I'm going to show it on our YouTube channel that you don't want to just like snap it right here, you know, and snap it there. You don't want to do that. You want to go just a little bit below that and that there will be a bud like this one right here. And you want to do it just below that first bud. And uh, um, I didn't do a very good job. I didn't use pruners. Shame on me. Use your fingers. I did. Uh-huh. Well, they call it pinching. You're pinching. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um, uh-huh. But again, you you want to make sure that you use a scissor type pruning uh, shear so that you get a clean cut, not like this torn up cut, because uh, insects seem to like that. Yeah. Uh, so again, you're gonna cut it, Aaron. You you able to get this on YouTube? So, again, it's this bud right here. You want to go just below that bud. so, And that will help it to produce new flowers. And that's what we want. That's what we want. Uh, it's a perfect time. Also, if you have a hydrangea, even if you have one of the old style that bloom on just their old wood, it's done. It's not going to flower anymore. But a lot of times they get big. Like one of my favorite hydrangea varieties is Nico Blue. And it's a fantastic flower, great show in the spring and and early summer. But then sometimes it gets a little big and out of control. So this is a time you get to cut it down and basically tame it back to a, a decent size. So don't wait. You don't want to do it in the fall. You don't want to do it much later than this. 
and that's it. And then it'll flower again next year because it will set its buds between now and fall for the following year. Most of the time, we, we tell people, kind of, kind of leave them on. Oh. But with the reblooming type, if you leave them on, it gets in the way of the, of the other flowers. Okay. And, and it also, I mean, doesn't these are a little good. bit unsightly, would yeah. you say? Yep. Doesn't look beautiful at all. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't look beautiful at all. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, again, it's also time. If Again, feed them with a spoma holytone. And you want to do a... Acidic-based water-soluble fertilizer. So your water-soluble, that's the one that you mix in you look at a watering can or you can put into a – there's some sprayers that, that will automatically mix it for you. Um, but, again, if you just are have a few hydrangeas, you just want to do that. That will keep that pH up – or down, I'm sorry. So the pH will be lower so you'll have blue flowers. Um, you're going to use something different that's uh, where your pH would be adjusted higher for pink flowers. That's another show. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, can right. certainly go back and hear that show. Mm -hmm. But also it's a time where you can use aluminum sulfate. If you love the blue flowers totally and you love that blue, aluminum sulfate is a granular product that looks like fertilizer. And basically it's an element that's in many fertilizers. So you still can do the holytone and the aluminum sulfate, and that will adjust the pH lower so you get those stunning blue flowers. So it's a little bit of maintenance. You're going to basically deadhead the flowers below that first bud, and then you're going to uh, feed them. And again, if you need to do any pruning to knock them down to size. Now, these are the macrophylla type. You know, some... You'll tell by the leaves. It's a big, wide leaf. It's almost like it's made out of rubber. <laughs> it isn't. We're not talking about the paniculata types. Like those are starting to bloom now. All those white, beautiful ones that fade to pink or red. Those are not what we're talking about. We're talking about the blue or the pink varieties of hydrangeas. So basically when people think of hydrangea, that's the one. And that's what we're talking about basically deadheading those flowers that they're basically looking stale. Anything to add, Julio? Sometimes customers come in and go, how come my hydrangea doesn't bloom? <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, we asked them, how low did you <laughs> prune them? <laughs> well, or when? It, it, yeah, or when, yeah. That's you right. know, husbands and landscapers take the blame most of the time That's because right. they trim stuff in the fall. This is the only time you should be trimming them. Mm -hmm. If you're deadheading the flowers on a reblooming type, that's fine. But on a, when, again, going back to old wood and new wood, if it flowers on old wood, that should only be pruned now and no more. Okay. The reblooming hydrangeas blooms on the new wood. So it's new growth. And that, that's where you can cut it back below that, that bud. And then it will form new flowers. So, again, don't prune them past this point if they only flower once. Yeah. This is your one chance to take <laughs> care not. of those. But if you have the newer varieties where it continually sends up blossoms, mm -hmm. make some space by getting rid of those faded and browning uh, flowers. Yeah, It'll be great for your plant. And make sure you feed them. Mm -hmm. Feed them, yeah, feed them, to. feed them. Yep. Because they are pigs. <laughs> yeah, they, they are. are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so, and that, again, blue is acidic. Alkaline is pink. pink. And it's more like the, the blues get like a purpley. Like this one's pretty purpley. Yeah, pretty purple, yeah. But, uh, again, for that real good blue, aluminum sulfate is way to go. makes a big deal. Mm -hmm. Anything to add, Julio Zamora? Make sure you water deeply. Yeah. Know that. You know, it's a, Water, water, water. water yeah. We've been having some rains lately, which yeah, has which been nice. that, which has been real good. Yeah, it has it's been. real good. But that yeah. stretch where we had that uh, yeah. that hot weather, hot, yeah, drought, it was dry. Yeah, so yeah, it was index finger probe. That's right. Feel the soil. If it's moist, leave it go. If not, saturate the water with water really well, mm -hmm. and then keep checking with that index finger probe, mm -hmm. and then 
once it goes dry, the first two inches or so of soil, then you water it again and you water more at one time and less often.